My name is Rosalind Sachiti. I'm 34 and I'm from Harare, Zimbabwe. I'm a journalist with uh, the Herald newspaper. Growing up, I would see women in the areas that I lived. I lived in a high density area and I would see some women being beaten up by their husband. But as a child, I didn't understand what was going on or why this was being done to them. I thought maybe this was a way of punishing them for doing something wrong because the explanation that you get from the husband when the police came was, no, she did this, she did that. So as I grew up, I started understanding that, no, this is not right, this is a form of uh, violence. And I wanted a platform for me to tell the stories of these women. And I thought journalism would be the right place because I could as a journalist, speak to these women, uh, try to find out why uh, they are being violated against and also try to work with government to find solutions on how domestic violence can come to an end in my country. And I'm happy that our government has done a lot. I think the real value in African youth is in their human resources. Like in my country, we've got very intelligent uh, youths who, if uh, given an opportunity, have proved that they can do better than anyone else in this world. They can be innovative. That's why even given the economic challenges that my country has faced, we've seen youth continue to prosper, continue to rise. For me, the biggest takeaway is the importance of preserving and telling the history of your country. When I came here, all I had was the American history, what uh, the founding fathers like Thomas Jefferson did for the American people. Like you find out that sometimes as Africans, we don't say enough about the histories of our countries. We don't write enough about the history of our countries. So this, is a, this has been a big takeaway for me and this is something that I'll take home and tell other young people in my country like it's so important to talk about your history it's so important to narrate your history to other people to preserve it to just celebrate your history people just forget the importance of unity so as african youth first we need to unite and this program has helped me understand the backgrounds of other african leaders their cultural values some things that you take for granted when you initially meet someone it made me realize that if you come together as young people, you create networks that can never be untangled by anyone.